clothes for something to wear to the movies my friends chose. When I found what to wear, off to the movies I went, but when I got to the counter, it was obvious Dad hadn't kept track of the money I'd spent. He hadn't topped up my bank account card, and it 25 bucks. Was it really that hard? So I went out to find my dad to go ask for more money for my favourite lolly bag. Then I suddenly froze. I noticed a man who was blowing his nose. This man had hair on his head and his face. Where he was standing, he did not look out of place. He was hunched behind a wall, staying dry from the rain that bucketed down on the streets, the buildings and drizzled down the drain. This man was homeless. I'd seen him before. Sat with a sign saying, help me, I'm poor. Imagine waking up in a strange place every single day. It could be a park bench, it could be a shelter, it could even be under a bridge. Imagine the thought of not knowing where you'll end up by the end of the day, but the thought that once again, you'll be living off minimal amounts of staple food. Imagine if I told you that tens of thousands of Australians are homeless with little or no money. Is it the truth? Approximately one 150,000 people are homeless in Australia. Homeless, meaning they don't have their own home to go to every night, typically living on the streets. 80% of homeless families who ask for help are turned away, as are about one in three teenagers. Even though you may not understand how prevalent homelessness and poverty is in our society, it is a very honest issue. Is it fair? Imagine the way you feel when you don't have your own bed to sleep in. Imagine the way you feel when you don't have your own bathroom to shower in. Imagine the way you feel when you don't have your own house to just relax in. 150,000 Australians currently feel the way you're imagining right now. That's double the number of people who live in Mandra. A lot of these people are forced out of their homes due to financial difficulty. Some of these people can't live at home because it's unsafe and there may be drug and alcohol issues. Some of these people are under the age of 18, some even under the age of 12. Last year, an average of 20 people per month were turned away from a local homeless shelter. And last year, in the month of September, 9,600 West Australians were in need of homeless services. Is it fair? that nearly 10,000 people in our state had no place to call home? Is it fair that tens of thousands of Australians will be facing the streets tonight? Of course not. Will it build goodwill and better friendships? It is estimated that tonight in the city of Mandra there will be 1,000 people without a home to go to. That is roughly the same number of students who attend our school. Imagine if we could provide support to a struggling, desperate single mother. We, um, we could provide her with skills such as applying for housing support, finding employment and providing basic needs for herself and her children. Her increased confidence and ability to be a responsible role model could create an infinite ripple effect on herself her children and her community. Imagine if we could provide hope to a struggling 15 year old boy who has no positive role models. We could guide him to value education and give him hope for his future. Imagine if we could provide support to a broken hearted father who has recently lost his job, his home and his family. Through counselling and support groups, we could guide him to reach out to his family in a positive manner and reconnect to employment possibilities. Will it be beneficial to all involved? Contributing our time to helping those less fortunate and homeless citizens of our society will benefit the wider community. Thinking back to the desperate single mother situation, if we helped her achieve her hopes and her dreams, she would continue to strive for other great things and her children will see this positive change in her. And in the long run, they too will become valuable members of the community. Helping someone to find a job can be beneficial to more than just that person directly. Our economy and government will be benefited too, as the amount of welfare money paid out every single year will be reduced. 
I want you all to understand the significance of homelessness and poverty in our society. It could happen to any one of us when we least expect it. People just like you and me, whose circumstances all of a sudden take a negative turn, could be taken down the path of homelessness and poverty. As individuals, there is so much we can do. Rotary International, Mission Australia, churches and the government all currently help, but there is so much we can still do. So today, let's take a stand and begin volunteering. Be it time, be it money, be it services, let's stop the growing issue of homelessness and poverty in our country.